I'm Isha. Welcome to my first ever motion graphics tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a VJ loop using After Effects default effects. We're not gonna use any external plugins. It is a pretty easy one and it will look like this. As you can see, it loops endlessly. So I'm gonna show you how to loop it as well. So yeah, let's begin. First, set up our composition. Press Command N or Control N if you're on Windows. Rename it into Colorful Lines. The width is 9020, height is 1080, our frame rate is 30 FPS, and 10 seconds is enough for the duration. Click OK. And then make a new solid layer. Press Command or Control Y. Rename it into lines 1 and then click OK. On the effects and preset window, type in radio waves. Small tips, it is actually very useful for you to memorize the names of the effects or plugins because it will speed up your workflow. So you can just type it in instead of scanning through the names. It will make things faster and easier. Next, apply radio waves to lines one layer and it should look like this. It is just boring, ugly looking blue circles, <laughs> but we're going to change it and make it cool. Now draw a path using pencil on the layer. You can draw whatever you like, but I'm doing this infinity lookalike symbol. I want this to be very curvy and no sharp joints. So it's going to look like this. Okay, now I'm done with the pad and move on to the next thing. Next thing we do is changing the wave type from polygon into mask. And then select mask 1. And this is the result. Now things will get trickier. But first, I want to change the lines color into pink because reasons. <laughs> and then change the frequency to 20, the expansion also 20, the spin also 20. Fade in time to 5. Start with less type in 2 and end with is 10. Huh, this looks nice, but I think I want to add more motion into it because this kind of looks static. So what we're going to do now is press M on the layer to bring out the mask parameter. Go to the last frame and click the stopwatch on the mask path. Then go to the first frame, double click on the path and scale down the path to whatever size you want. But I'm just going to scale it down to this. Now you can see it looks more dynamic. Okay, this is pretty nice and we're actually done with our first layer. But after this, we're going to add more layers and it is actually pretty easy steps from here. So just watch it. Actually, guys, I got really bored now and I don't want to, I don't really want to voice over the next steps, you know. Like, if you guys can just watch what I do, that would be great because it is pretty easy steps actually. You just, you just need to duplicate every layer and then change the parameter a bit, the orientation and the spin. Uh, so yeah, I'm so sorry, but just watch it <laughs> until it's done to this pretty easy steps. And then, yeah, just, just, just watch it first. <laughs>
Hey, I'm back towards the end of our tutorial. That was easy, right? So yeah, now let's make an endless loop out of this thing. What you need to do is just select all four layers and then pre-cop it. You can do it by, do it by pressing Command or Control Shift C, pre-com and then rename it into, I don't know, lines. You get your pre-com and then back to our main composition. I'm going to show you the easiest trick to make a footage loop seamlessly. First, you go to the middle of the layer, press T to bring the opacity parameter out, click on the stopwatch, and then you go to the first frame, bring the opacity down to zero, back to the middle part, press Command or Control Shift D, to split the layer, move the top layer to the bottom, bring it forward, and then you set the working area and guess what, you're done! It's looping endlessly now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for my last trick, create a new adjustment layer. You know what? Just Google how to do it. Like, just Google how to create a new adjustment layer on After Effects. <laughs> Type in glow and then uh, apply it to the layer. Set out the threshold to 80% and the radius to 40 and the glow operation to screen and voila we're done this is your new vj loop from scratch with no external plugins and it looks awesome well at least for me yeah thank you for watching and i'm sorry for all of my shortcomings i think this is gonna be my last one my first and last tutorial because this is so boring guys i'm sorry but yeah thank you bye